Hey guys, welcome back. This is MD and these are the things I wish I knew before. Tips and tricks as usual. So first things first, I'm going to talk about the ship. You are going to be notified about it during the prelogue or chapter 1 that there's a ship that you can send for exploring. And it's going to be gone for 12 hours. 12 hours real time. So whenever you are about to close the game, go stop the exploration and send it to explore before you put your switch to sleep mode. This is amazing because you're going to get some really really nice items from it such as XP orbs, uh, JP orbs for the job point as well as some boosters which will permanently increase your stats such as this one, the HP boost. So this will increase your uh, HP permanently. So these three items are going to be really really helpful and as I said 12 hours. So before you close your switch or put it onto, onto sleep mode just send your ship to sail mode and then close the, uh, the switch and come back. So always, yeah, whenever it's 12 hours, stop the exploration. Next thing that I want to talk about is whenever you're roaming around, uh, you're going to see these rare, rare monsters. These are completely different and they come out randomly at random places. They're unusual, their shape is different. As you can see that tree, it looks brownish. So this is a monster. As you can see the one behind as well, that's another one. So yeah, these are tough. These are tougher than the other monsters. So before going on to fight them, I recommend you guys uh, to save your progress before you try to attack them. Maybe uh, they are like too tough or something, maybe you need to level up. So before attempting to fight them, I just recommend to save your game before uh, going to fight with them. This one was easy actually, but the one uh, behind him, uh, that guy, the blue guy, is really, really, really tough. I didn't notice that that was a monster, but when you actually the game is going to notify you. Uh, about it as you can see I'm just cutting grass I'm thinking that that's the normal tree but in fact that's a really really rare monster and it's tough I should have saved my game before like attempting it but uh, I did try my best and actually I lost so these are gonna be around everywhere so you can see them I mean you can uh, typically when you go to an area you can see all of these monsters so these will look like um, the different you know like a different color or different shade so you will notice them they mean eventually so as you can see this is the rare monster this is unlike you know that uh, bird the thing that you can see so this one is different this is the same one as the brown one but this is much 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 tougher as you can see my party was almost like defeated and i ran away so now that i was damaged heavily i mean instead of like going and curing each one of my team just uh, you know like one by one individually you can press x and you can auto heal all of your teammates you know like whatever they have like poison whatever they have just press the x and you can do that easily without just like instead of like going like one by one individually on them so that's another thing that i wanted to talk about uh, next thing is about a job uh, what's it called uh, ability as you can see in the freelancer we have the divining rod this will actually show you all of the chests uh, near you so this is really 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 important the game tells you about it but do use it all the time especially when you're in dungeons or even roaming around especially in the dungeons as you can see I can see nothing I don't know how many treasures are left but if I use it I can see all of the treasures so make sure whenever you're in danger or new area which has like roughly like five to six or ten chests always try to pick them all up you don't have to have this equipped on your main character by the way you can equip it on, on, on any of the other characters and you will be able to see all of the chests so when you grab all of these chests just just you know get out and some of these chests really have good items as you can see here even though it was a nasty surprise that uh, I can say I got like ambushed by monsters but when you're done with them you get really these awesome items sometimes you know like these uh, um, uh, simple uh, accessories or whatever so just collect them all there's there's no harm in collecting them and you are exploring the, the dungeon as well as well as you're gonna be leveling up before you go and face the, the final monster especially especially this is uh, by the way I have noticed that in some areas that you can see treasures which are not uh, indicated by the number of treasures at the bottom so you can see it says 20 but maybe there's another treasure that is not counted I don't know I'm, I'm not sure about that but uh, I'll, I'll learn about that a bit more and I'm gonna talk about it later on as you can see uh, this chest had one of this uh, this amazing weapon you don't have to like I didn't have to like buy it I got here I don't think you can buy it from the stores as well so this is why it's awesome to find these chests in the in the dust dungeons sorry uh, next thing is the knights 
If you want to level up, the knights are quite dangerous and they can pack more monsters. So if you want to like, uh, uh, if you're like low level, if you want to uh, be safe, don't roam around the knights or just be very careful. But if you want to level up, the knights are much much uh, better to level up because usually they will have more monsters, the rarer monsters, and a lot of them. So especially when you are using the trees, which I'm going to talk about in a bit, uh, these are the best options. So the knights have more monsters and they are much much uh, deadlier in that sense. And it's a good opportunity for you uh, to just fight two monsters which are too close together and you will earn much more uh, JP points. Since I'm talking about knights and them having a lot of monsters, you can actually bring the monsters together and fight them. So I don't recommend swinging your weapon at them because by the time you swing your weapon they might uh, separate from you. So try to get them close and you hit them or just, just uh, touch them and you will go into a battle and you will get a multiplier so you get more uh, JP points. As you can see I'm trying to like push these monsters away so I can just fight them and you can see the game will tell you with these blue orbs that you're gonna fight them one after the other. So this way uh, you will see a lot of monsters. By the way this, this monster that ran away, uh, this is a rare one, I'm not sure how to get that. Uh, it's kind of like random, sometimes you see one, sometimes you see two. I'll try to find more information about that and I'm gonna uh, tell you guys about it. But yeah, uh, coming back to this uh, fighting monsters together, like nearby, you will get these multiplier, like almost 10%, 20% or even up to 70% more JV points, depending on how many monsters are close by when you fight them. So yeah, use this to your advantage. This is much easier at night uh, when the monsters are close by. As you can see, I got 10% more JP points. So that's that's a good number instead of like, you know, find, uh, fighting them individually. And the monsters will only run away from you if they are like, if they can see you. If you're behind them, they will not see you, they will not run away. So aim yourself in a way that this monster, this, for example, insect will run toward the other and just immediately go and touch them. Don't swing. If you try to swing, they might run away. Now, uh, the next thing that I'm going to talk about is the preemptive. The game will tell you about this, but this is really, really advantageous. So just, just swing, swing your weapon when you are at behind them. And you can see it will say the allied have the advantage and the enemy is just looking, uh, I mean, you can see the enemy is back and it's looking at you. So this means you will have an advantage. You're going to start first. Use this opportunity to use your brave points and finish them off as quickly as possible before they get a chance you know to attack you so this is really really good just use it or I mean, the game will tell you but yeah keep using it always try to like always get the preemptive next thing I want to talk about is the buddy system or you know sometimes when you're playing the game there's always these guest characters you know so these guest characters are really really helpful they will really really make a huge difference so whenever you have them Try to level up as much as you can before you progress through the story, otherwise you're gonna lose them. So whenever you have them, just roam around, try to finish these monsters, try to get more items, you know, explore all of these areas, do whatever you can before you progress through the story. So as, as soon as you see that, hey, this is enough, that's it, I had enough, then just progress through the story. That way you're gonna be over leveled. Because the game is hard, really the game is hard. So when you have these opportunities, always, always grab them. So moving on, I'm going to be talking about this uh, ability that I have in the Freelancer, which is the Forage. Forage is an amazing uh, miscellaneous uh, thing that you can use uh, where you're going to search for items within a battle. So make sure that your characters are level to level 4 in the Freelancer job. And actually when you're fighting, you can search for items. Uh, these items can be JP orbs, XP orbs, whatever. Sometimes they are treats or whatever. As you can see, I'm getting all of these items. By the way, make sure that you kill all of the other monsters and you only have one of them. And make sure you don't have a guest if you were trying to do this because the guest will kill all of the monsters. So just keep using the forage and get more items, so and so, until you're happy, you know. So this is a nice ability. And you can, by the way, you can sell these items as well. And sometimes these are the JP orbs or the XP orbs that I said, which will help you increase your level more. You know, your personal level, the XP level, as well as the job level. So yeah, uh, try to kill all of the monsters uh, until you have only one remaining, because that way you'll not, you don't have to like heal yourself constantly. You, you can just like focus all your energy by using the forage 
as you can see I'm trying to like kill them off but yeah this is this is really niche you might sometimes find the treats and I'm gonna talk about that uh, treats just just after this here as you can see I got these high potions and the antidote you don't have to go to the shops you can find everything here from the ethers from the antidotes to whatever so this is really really helpful now I'm gonna talk about the treats that I talked uh, before this is really helpful when you're like fighting these monsters. So I'm just going to go to the items. You're going to go to the monster treats with the meat icon. Here, I'm going to use the insect because I'm trying to find fight the insects. So each one of these items uh, is, is specific for a spe special type of monster. So I ate the, the insect treat. This is why the ant is, you know, attached to me. So you, see, you can see the heart. Other monsters are not. So this is a way for me to fight monsters constantly. You remember? I showed you that when two monsters are close by and when you're gonna go and fight them uh, they will you're gonna be fighting them one after the other if you use the street even if it's one monster you can see it's it attracts a bunch more you can have more than one battle if you use it even though it shows one monster but as you can see the monsters keep coming because you have used the treat so yeah so when you use the treat more I mean if you fight a monster even though it shows a single monster but when you fight them it's usually more than one battle so make sure the treat that you're using is specific to that monster so yeah don't go to a place with a, with where there are no insects and you're going to use the insect uh, treat expecting uh, expecting the other monsters to come in no it's not going to work like that so insect treat is only for the insect by the way there will be there are some treats that will work for everyone and these treats uh, that you saw they are going to uh, like you know like uh, they will be working for like a few minutes so you have a plenty of time to use this opportunity to level up and get a lot of JP if you remember we got 10% JP but if you're gonna use the treat here and you're gonna finish off all of these monsters you are gonna get all the way to 1.7 uh, JP points that's a huge amount and you get these treats uh, randomly from the monsters I'm gonna show you about that so I'm just like fighting these um, here uh, to show you just how much I'm gonna get and these are quite easy by the way because my level is already uh, high and I, I did not try it try to like you know bring all of these monsters uh, together use a treat and see how many monsters you will be fighting because this was only one uh, ad and I can you can see how many battles that I fought and they keep coming but imagine if you have like two of them close by and you try to attack them especially at nights so that's that's a huge number so a lot of you know items, a lot of XP, a lot of GP points. Amazing, right? So let's see. Uh, I'm almost done with them, I think. I don't have a guest character for this. This a guest character would be helpful at this point. But if you don't have a guest character, then yeah, just just do it the normal way. As you can see, I got 296 GP points multiplied by 60% extra. That's huge to level up. And yeah, about the treats themselves, like how you can get these treats, uh, you can buy them from the shops later on in the story, but otherwise they are dropped, they are monster drops. So as you can see, I'm just going to fight these here, and after like fighting them, as you can see, let me just like finish them off, I don't want to show you the whole battle, but let me just finish them off, finish this monster here, and you can see that it has a drop. So I'm just going to attack him. As you can see, I'm getting this item. This is the item. It will tell you at the end of the battle itself. Soul food. So this is a treat. This is a monster treat. The soul food. So yeah, you can use the soul food. Each item is different, depending on the monsters that you can see. I mean, here the people, the beast, the insect that I told you about. This is the one that I got. This is for the spirit monster because I fought a spirit monster. You remember? Even though the last monster was a pig, but initially when I started the fight, it was a, a soul monster or the spirit monster. And these are the items that you can get if you use the forage. Remember I was using the forage early on? As you can see, 31 small JB orbs. That's huge, really. I mean, it will help you to level up so, so fast and so, so easy. There are a couple of more things that I want to talk about. I mean, the game tells you about them, but I think these are really important. So if you are getting in constantly into battle, trying to get a lot of XP or just, you know, just move your way up or get items. So you just want to do things fast. So if you press Y, it will show you the list of the actions that you have done before and you can just press go and it will perform them again so if I have done attack like four times using brave if I press Y it will do them 
as well as if you press the plus button in a battle you will increase the speed of the battle so you can finish the battles within second so instead of like going to an enemy pressing the r you know four times to use the brave and you know and use the attack 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 like individually you can use that way and you can do them fast but the good thing about this way is you can specifically choose the characters you want or the monsters you want to hit the previous way it will choose the target randomly you don't have any choice it will only do the previous attacks but you cannot choose the target as you can see but if you use the r1 individually like manually you can specifically choose the target so be careful and also remember you can use brave the monsters can use brave as well so yeah don't use brave all the time it is especially if the monsters are tough yeah uh, the other thing that I want to talk about is running uh, there is an option if you press the RZ you can run but the game gives you an option to actually change that into like you know running constantly I think that's a better like way to run you know like uh, use it to your advantage you know like constantly running and instead of like pressing the holding the ZR to run all the way but by the way if you're like cutting grass or something this is this is annoying so if you're slow you have much more you know flexibility to like face uh, either way but if you are always in a hurry I think it's a better option to change it from the setting the second thing or the one of the last thing that I'm talk about is how would you know that you are good to progress the the best indication is these monsters so if they run from you that means you are OP so they will it's a good indication for you that hey you're over level you can go ahead and progress through the story or, or you know like uh, just finish the dungeon off or whatever but at the same time even though if you're playing on easy the bosses are tough in this game so yeah be prepared make sure your levels are up make sure that your job levels you have like a bunch of job levels uh, jobs that are that are high level so don't focus only on freelancer don't focus only on the mages or you know white mages focus on the others as well so level them up slightly you know so you might need them in a battle or two you know so yeah so this is this is a good indication so that you can uh, move forward uh, one of the other things that I want to talk about is the items that you can get from the grass yeah we can get items from the treasures but the grass even though they are annoying you can keep cutting and cutting and cutting but actually these grasses have sometimes really really good items weapons as well so yeah forget about the small items you can actually get weapons from these uh, uh, grasses I, I seriously got like you know these expensive weapons and instead of like me going to the shops and buying them I actually got them from, from these grasses I know it gets uh, tedious you know it's a lot of work you know you need to like swing and it will only remove a small patch but it's, it's still it's, it's a good way you know just finding new items you know getting uh, weapons for free yeah don't always do them but whenever you're you know when you're free just 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 hack a bit of slash and uh, what's it called a uh, grass and you will get these uh, items the last point that i want to talk about is you know when you get these weapons or whatever from the chest you always want to like you know grab this amazing weapon or equipment that you got you know finally hey i got this don't uh you know as i mean except i mean if you can yes but if you are gonna be overloaded as you can see my weight is overloaded then it's gonna be really really useless for me to grab uh, get this weapon so always press x to equip the recommended uh, otherwise you know just keep an eye on to that and uh, hopefully you're not overloaded and it's not gonna you know hinder your movement or your stats and yeah guys uh, that's it for these uh, tips and tricks hopefully they were helpful hopefully you learned a thing or two guys uh, thanks for uh, staying, thanks for watching and liking guys, thanks for the awesome support that we get from you and as always stay awesome guys and follow us on Instagram, press that like button or the bell button, peace guys.